there, boys and girls. Come one, come all. The school bells are ringing and there's plenty of food for everyone. Welcome all you newcomers here. Grab a seat, feel comfortable and right at home. Welcome to the number one channel in East and Central Africa that brings you great and epic motorcycle content many have come to love. Do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you're updated whenever we post a new episode. Now, let me tell you about today's sponsor the gear store. Are you in search of riding gear? Perhaps you've been eyeing those sweet pipes you've been meaning to put on your bikes. Look no further than the gear store where we have everything bike related from gears to more gear. We even have bikes if you'd like to purchase one online. We do have articles for you to read to nourish that uh, motorcycle loving head of viewers. Head on over there to the gear store and get yourself some nice items. Link will be in the description box below. Now my apologies because um, right now I mean I'm so far away so I had to do this uh, uh, I had to do this voiceover and uh, because I thought my mic was on but turns out I was talking I was just talking to myself like the mode person that I am. Now today's episode is a first rides review of the Zontes 250V from Beth Mobility. Now the bike was provided to me by a fellow supporter of the channel not sponsored by Beth Mobility in any way although I wish it was but a man can dream. By the way, if you'd like to have your bike featured on the channel, contact me via Instagram at Rico the Gearhead, link below, or perhaps even via WhatsApp. My number will be in the tab, uh, in the tab section on my YouTube page. Now, back to the review. The Zontes 250V is a 250cc four-stroke air-cooled single-cylinder engine that produces a maximum torque of 16.5 Nm at 6,500 rpm and a maximum power of 17 horsepower at 7,500 rpm. The bike has both kick and electric start with a 5-speed gearbox with an estimated top speed of about 120 km per hour. Now, its fuel consumption is about 2.4 liters for every 100 kilometers. The bike comes stock in cafe racer style with all the bar and mirrors and the classic tachometer which uh, displays the throttle meter, the gear indicator, the fuel gauge, the speed sensor and also all the nitty gritty important stuff that you require. Now it comes with the conventional upside down front shocks and two gas spring shocks at the rear. The front tire is a 90-90 by 17 and the rear is a 130-70 by 17. I really love the overall build quality of the bike plus the bike really looks and it really brings out the old school by old school vibe to top it all off. Another thing that I did enjoy is the feeling of being one with the bike. The 20 liter tank sits perfectly in between your nether regions with the side grooves clasping your thighs in a harmonious fashion. It really makes the bike very easy to ride and maneuver around. It was unfortunate, rather it's unfortunate that we won't get to hear the rumbling sound of the 250cc engine but in my opinion, it doesn't quite sound as well, but uh, I'm sure if you slap on a pipe, she'll sound quite marvelous. Now let's talk about the faults that I did find on this bike. First of all, is a weird looking tiny foot pegs. Was it an economic strategy or was the deal here? The foot pegs are quite tiny as compared to other bikes. I wouldn't want that, especially on a wet muddy day. The small surface area can be quite strenuous over long periods of time, but I guess it's something that you get used to. Or perhaps if you can swap them out, please do, you'll feel the huge difference in the long run. Another con is that, or rather a con or a pro, depends on how you see it, is that the bike's parts can only be found at Beth Mobility. I think that diversity of parts is quite wanting, especially for a new market, a new market of, uh, or rather a new brand of motorcycles, especially here in Kenya. Because if you live for you, getting some of the major parts can be quite a hassle. Now the bike is seated quite low, having ridden the TNT to 50, I felt as if I was riding the TNT 150 from how low it sat. Another thing that really bugged me was the gear shift lever. Uh, it did quite, it stuck out so bad that it ruined the whole aspect or the whole look of the bike. Well, I guess you can have your cake and eat it too. The shifter sticks out like a sore thumb and it really nagged me. But I do digress, however, that is something quite small in my own opinion. Now, about the gears, the gears, uh, the, the gear ratio did feel quite short or quite medium to short and uh, it didn't give the bike enough power as I, I would have liked. Oh, well, in that case, on my ride, it didn't feel like I was riding the 250, like I was riding a 250cc engine, rather it felt quite stale. 
the TNT 250 has quite a pull when you twist the throttle, but this one was just like, yeah, the excitement wasn't there as much as I would have wanted to, but maybe it might, the experience might be different uh, to you. Perhaps I have come from riding a, a lot of bikes, so maybe my expectations were quite high and I ended up being disappointed. But uh, moving on, so I did love how easy it was to ride the bike and throw around and throw it around. I did love the suspension. The suspension was something quite noticeable and I loved how well it soaked up the bumps. As you can see here, I was riding it quite, uh, I was riding it at a quite uh, rough maram road as compared to a tarmac road. It seemed to excel more in the rough terrain with the tires gripping well, very well, quite well on and off tarmac. So how does the bike compare to other bikes in its class? So for this instance, I will compare it to its closest rival, the Benelli TNT 250. Now, suppose you're stuck in between buying the two of them. I mean, brand new ones only have a difference of 20,000 Kenya shillings. So this is quite something, this is quite a dilemma most of you might have. Which one do you think is better, the 250 Zontes V or the Benelli TNT 250? Now, so between the two bikes, which one would you choose? I'll state the differences here for you in order to help you see uh, wh whichever you're getting from each of the bikes. Now, remember, I have reviewed the Benelli TNT 250. If you haven't watched it, uh, I will put a link uh, up in the video screen for you so that you can go watch it. Now, the TNT 250 is EFI enabled for those who do for those of you who do not know what EFI means, is electron electronic fuel injection system. While the Zontes 250V is a copy is copyrighted, the TNT 250 is more expensive than the Zontes 250V, which is cheaper by 20,000 Kenya shillings. Now the TNT 250 is more comfortable, in my opinion, and the Zontes 250 is not as much, but an easy fix is having change, or rather is changing uh, the seat cushion or the foam that comes in the seat. The TNT 250 is more accommodating to the pillion, while the Zontes 250 is not as much. The Zontes 250 is quite aesthetically pleasing than the, uh, than the TNT 250. When you compare both bikes, there's definitely a slight difference in the qualities. Which one do you think is superior? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I will answer them as soon as I can. So what, who or rather who would I recommend this bike to? I'd say for one who doesn't want to start on a 150 uh, CC, the power band is quite down low despite it being a 250, which for me is a quite a disappointment. Uh, so if a beginner bought this, imagine i would not be worried at all because this bike is quite forgiving uh for its class so what do you think about this review was it informative enough have i left something out let me know, let me know your thoughts i do love reading and uh, replying to all of them and as always if you've got any questions i've had a lot of you guys reach out to me on whatsapp on calls i'm really happy that you guys are doing that and also please know um i'm ready to answer any questions that you might have and uh, if you also want to talk to me more, here's my Instagram link will be in the below. Please go follow. Give us a like on, on all that we do there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all this. For I do love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, ride safe, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.